Hey guys, it's Mathew here once again and got another new build and this time around it is Penance Brand Ignite. So I haven't done an Ignite build in a while and I've never done Penance Brand Ignite and always kind of thought it'd be fun to throw an entire Eternity Shroud setup at a Penance Brand or a Divine Ire or a Wave of Conviction. Something that is Fizz to Lightning to Cold to Fire and then Eternity Shroud and Ignite with it. And Penance Brand looked pretty cool with its MTX, um, and then supposedly the highest, I suppose, um, Ignite damage of the lot of those. So, thought it was time to give it a shot, and this is the result. An Elementalist um, Eternity Shroud build that's got eight shaped items, no Call of Brotherhoods, because uh, that is really hard to do these days. Um, ever since a couple of the changes, and uh, yeah, they're like 50x a piece. So in any case, mostly shaped gear, and the idea is that you start out with a bunch of fizz that then goes to lightning, that you then convert to cold, and then you convert some of that cold to fire. And Eternity Shroud gives you an additional um, bit of um, Ellie as chaos on every step of that conversion on the um, lightning that's already converted to the cold that's converted and then the resulting fire as well. So it ends up meaning that about half my damage is chaos and if you're an elementalist with shaper of flames then all of your damage ignites including that chaos. Uh, the tricky part is then kind of balancing that the fire does the most damage and it means that I might need to actually take one of my shaped pieces off still. Uh, in any case what we have here is Penance Brand, as you can see, it basically, with the uh, mastery that chains your brands, just bounces around a lot very quickly at what is essentially one stack of its um, Penance Explosion Burst thing. So it's a very sort of, it, it solves a problem, but it also creates a problem, because traditionally with Penance Brand, it applies to an enemy a pack of enemies and then takes a bit of time to wind up its burst then explodes and um, unleashes all of its power whereas if you take the mastery it bounces every 0.3 seconds so like all of the time but it never actually winds up to its maximum power so only against single target or enemies that are standing still alone will you wind up to your maximum power and get in this case about 15 to 20 million ignite dps um, it does create a pretty clumsy playstyle when things start to get tankier. When things are still pretty squishy, your um, tiny little bouncing Penance Brand Ignite is good enough. But uh, once I started doing some Beyond Maps and noticed that things were dying quite a bit slower, and I did try out the um, non-mastery version as well, where you just apply a penance brand and then kind of wait for it to explode or you can apply a penance brand and then spec more into um, brand recovery cooldown rate for your brand recall because if you recall then it explodes the brands as well so this is the example of having no mastery and it does create a different play style and you do get much bigger ignites and then your prolifts do a lot more work but uh, I don't know which one's the correct play and as you may notice, the character is rather squishy. So to get a really good sort of amount of DPS and ignite damage on Penance Brand, I had to kind of ignore all defenses. And it's the first character in a while, especially since the rework defenses, that um, I've basically had nothing. And it doesn't feel good, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, currently can't recommend building like this. Like I can do maps and got to level 90 pretty quickly and will be still doing some high tier maps and all that, but you're constantly on edge and you don't really want to get hit by anything. And uh, in today's world, that's pretty uncomfortable and hard to do. But uh, this is an example of what the single target looks like. There's kind of a real high roll on it at the moment. We need to wait for the exact penance brand to come up, um, the two to three seconds for it to explode, uh, have my convergence up, make sure it picks fire as its highest because it could be chaos at the moment. Um, and elemental overload needs to be up as well. So there's a high roll, but it's still pretty decent and probably the best ignite single target I've had in a long time because ignite is not known for its single target. So uh, for these bosses so far, it's done okay. I'm still going to give this character another day and uh, try and fix some things and um, hopefully got some good news, but at the moment it's kind of just a bit of a bit of a uh, meme, nothing too serious, and um, wouldn't really recommend, but we'll see where we go in the next day. Let me show you what I've done so far. 
So there's the character, level 89, more penance than viewers. Um, penance can go up to like stacks of 20 and Pee is dead game at the moment. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, 4.5k life at level 89, like I said, with basically no other defensive measures. So it's a bit wonky for the time being. But I feel like this is what I kind of have to do to make the Ignite Penance a viable um, thing for the end game and um, single target and stuff like that. Uh, based around Eternity Shroud, like I said, 5% of Ellie is Chaos per Shaper item equipped. Basically, can't go wrong wearing this item with shaped gear. It'll just give you lots and lots of deeps and feel pretty damn good. Um, like I said, if you go from Fizz to Lightning to Cold to Fire, then that is how you maximize Eternity Shroud and you get as much chaos as possible out of that. So you can see 750 to 1700 fire, 850 to 1900 chaos, 260 to 600 cold. So most of our lightning gets converted to cold, then like 60% of the uh, cold, thanks to this gem, gets converted to fire. So we're still left with some cold, but um, then all the conversions or the additionals get applied for the chaos. And uh, currently the chaos is currently on the tooltip dealing more, but uh, with the various fire resists and shit, um, the fire does deal more at certain times. So um, it's a bit wonky for the Shaper of Flames, and it means that I can probably afford to actually take off one or two shaped pieces of gear, which I may end up doing for um, in favor of, you know, like a pair of gloves or um, some Eldritch Implicits or some shit. All the specific ones I've chosen, like 8 Elias Extra Chaos, doesn't really need to happen. We could just scale um, percent damage to begin with instead. So anyway, we're building around this so that we can ignite with everything. Um, and then we really want the fire to do the most sort of damage. So we do need to be careful on that uh, Chaos damage. Otherwise, tree looks pretty basic for all the ignite shit. It's taken everything. Took uh, Eldritch Battery, still haven't taken this and anointed the right things. Still kind of building. But uh, Eldritch Battery just to fix mana because Penance Brand's pretty damn costly, 95 mana. Um, then also got the Brand Mastery over here. That's the one that reactivates um, every point three that makes the chains feel really good. Um, that's where we convert the rest of our Lightning to begin with, uh, Fizz to Lightning. And a um, bit of fire exposure, a bit of fire, whatever, whatever, whatever. So the gear itself, um, basically just shaped gear. Uh, picked up this amulet for a couple X. It's got fizz extra lightning and then fire dot multi and dot multi. And then just need to craft life. So it was a pretty good pickup. Um, I made these ones myself. So both of these are basically the same thing. Just grabbed a bunch of deafening um, essences of the torment, I think it is. Just for the flat lightning to spells. And then um, just rolled those until I saw another good roll. And in this case, it's 8 Elias Chaos. In this case, it's 20 Fizz as Extra Lightning. There was a spare prefix. So I did prefix cannot be changed with a Veiled Orb. Uh, got the Veiled Lightning here. Got the Veiled Fire here. And then I wiped the suffixes and multi-modded with cast speed and fire damage over time. Very niche ones. No one else really needs these. Did cost me like, you know six to ten x to make each one and um it's just for this specific purpose not even sure they're that amazing just a bunch of like fire dot multi fire damage lightning damage would probably get you just as far with regular ones but we do need car speed is the unfortunate truth of this type of setup because more car speed gets more penance brand stacks up to its maximum and you really want to unleash your maximum stacks there um, which goes up to 20 energy, and uh, you need a lot of car speed for that. So I've had to go out of my way for a bit off of the wands and a little bit on the tree, but um, even faster casting while leveling uh, instead of like out of lightning was my best in slot because it got me to the 20 stacks, whereas you otherwise, if your um, brand expires before it can get to the 20 stacks, then you're not actually getting... Uh, maximum damage out of the brand and car speed becomes a damage support so uh, you got to be careful with that but we've got silver flask and car speed there as well and probably still getting a bit more on the tree maybe um, but that's what it currently looks like so we've got penance brand wake and cold to fire um, anomalous sorry that's just for a bit of extra convert um, wake and burning damage unfortunately the plus one there doesn't help us uh, ignite prolif Awaken Deadly Elements and Awaken Added Lightning, where the plus one does in fact help us. 
Uh, then had to get a Blizzard Crown that just had an enchant, slapped some sort of influence on it with um, an orb. I think it was a Redeemer orb. Uh, and then you just use Harvest Crafts to turn it into a shaped with a bit of RNG. So um, it's this one here, Reforge, Rare Armor, uh, Armor, just to become another influence. And eventually you get a shaped one. You can also just awaken or orb another shaped item onto an influence Blizzard Crown uh, and have two different um, influences together. And as long as one of them is Shaper, it counts towards Eternity Shroud. Uh, bought a very basic belt, just shaped, has some resistance stuff. Um, these gloves for car speed, fire dot multi, and dexterity. Um, not too expensive as well, just shaped. And then cast bound a pair of boots and shaped once again, has resists and fucking whatever. Uh, and then its eerie flask as well will give us even more cast damage, which exacerbates the problem of having more cast than fire. But currently the POB says that's not too big of a deal, but I know in my heart that it is a little bit of a big deal and it means that there's going to be high rolls and low rolls. Sometimes it'll be the chaos, sometimes it'll be the fire. And when it picks the chaos as our main source of damage, it does noticeably do less damage. Um, so then we've also got Flame Surge. I'm going to link that up probably, but should just create some burning ground when we have our best Ignite up. Malevolence, Brand Recall, Wave of Conviction on cast when damage taken. So that just procs every now and again. Um, and Wave of Conviction in this setup is used specifically for applying fire exposure. And um, that also applies the exposure of this. So it's pretty big and I might try and get some just Eldritch Gloves instead so they can apply exposure all the time as an implicit. Um, otherwise, anyway, Hex Touch, um, Wave of Conviction, Flammability and Combustion. So we apply Combustion through Wave of Conviction and also Flammability through the Hex Touch. Then got a Stone Golem, Flame Dash, Herod of Purity, uh, Vitality and a Hatred. And that's the resulting build thus far. Like I said, it goes up to like 15 to 20 million DPS, but that's when the stars align. Otherwise, it's probably a fairly consistent 5 to 10. And um, we'll see how the end game pans out in the next um, day. Hopefully I got some good news for you. It was a bit of a tough character to put together with these types of wands, but uh, I'm going to look into some other wands as well to see what more budget things can be. Otherwise, I don't know, Penance Brand's going okay, but having a character with zero defenses doesn't feel good in today's um, PoE. And I will probably, if I keep mapping, try and look into putting a determination in, maybe a bit more defense, that sort of thing. Uh, also got a Watcher's Eye here, just does cold damage with hatred. Cold applies for our uh, conversion increased damage and then damaging elements faster with malevolence, which isn't... Um, an overall damage increase, but it's a DPS increase if you can reapply your Ignite quick enough. That's it for the character intro. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.